Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It's February 1st, Saturday, and we are on our way to the little gym. We're taking Chase for his first class ever. I've never been, um, and our nanny has been taking her daughter there, so we've just found that Chase has been really interested in other kids every time we go out to a restaurant or something he like squeals at them and stuff so um and now that he's kind of crawling around uh we thought that this would be really fun so we are just in the car pete's here with me and we're gonna head over there i'm not sure if we're allowed to bring our camera in or not so um maybe you'll see footage maybe not i'll definitely insert some pictures if we can take them but we'll see you guys in a little bit and there's chase back there Chase, say hi. with Chase's, it was actually Gymboree, not the little gym. But anyway, um, Pete got some cute clips of him, I think. But Chase absolutely loved it. He loved seeing all of the other kids. And we got some good tips from the teachers on how to get him to like get up on his knees and start to crawl since he's like army crawling really well right now. He, he's in the bed. <laughs> He, he's having such a good time. Um, he loved every single thing that they did. He went through tunnels and there was like the parachute and what else? Little tubes that we set him in and then just like clapping hands and singing songs and stuff. And he liked all of it. Um, there were a few exercises that I was holding him and he just like wasn't having it. He wants to be down on the ground, moving around on his own. He's like Mr. Independent right now. So um, we signed up for a full month and we're gonna be able to take him to the open gyms and then whatever classes um, that he's he can go to. Um, so yeah, definitely a success, right? Pete, what do yeah, you think? Yeah, it was great. You have a good time? I love it. Yeah. Did I have a good time? Yeah. I mean, come on. It was, I had a good time seeing him have a good time, but yeah. at, you know, how I'd spend an afternoon by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. The, um, there was a big group actually. I was surprised at how many kids were there and like parents and stuff. So we're gonna definitely continue and I think he's gonna just enjoy it a lot. So anyway, right now we're headed back to the house. Gotta feed him and then put him down for a nap and we'll check in a little bit later. Hey, you eating dinner? Eater's gonna eat? <laughs> yeah. Is show everyone how you eat your chicken. I know you want this. Go eat your dinner. What you doing? What are you doing now? Hey, hi. Hey. You moving all around? What do you see? What do you see? You see the camera? Do you see yourself? Keep going. Keep going. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Go get it. Come get it. It's so good. All right. Well, we just had, we just gave Chase his dinner. It's like 6.45 right now. He was a little off schedule because we went to Jimboree and 
by the time we got back and put him down for a second nap, it was a little bit later than when he normally naps, so schedule's a little thrown off. So we're just gonna get him all ready for bed, and I'll probably end the vlog for today and pick up tomorrow. Hi guys, checking in. It's now Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. We went to church earlier this morning and we actually put Chase for the first time in the church nursery. He had such a great time at Gymboree yesterday with all the other little kids that we felt like he's totally ready and um, we really should have put him in there a lot sooner than we did. But with flu season and everything, we were airing on the cautious side but anyway so i'm back home right now i just put chase down for a nap he's actually just kind of sitting in his crib right now but um he'll probably fall fall asleep pretty soon but anyway i just wanted to catch you guys up on a few things um one of them is that i just got in the mail from this company called sojo's vision these blue light blocking glasses I have a normal nine to five job. If you're new here, I am a marketing manager for an engineering society. It's a nonprofit and I work from home mostly and I'm sitting in front of a computer for literally seven plus hours a day just looking at the screen. So I have been super crazy with work and I have been having these like headaches. So um, so just sent me these blue light blocking glasses and um, I got two pairs and then a pair of just regular sunglasses. So I just want to share what I think about them in case you guys are interested. Um, I know with technology, a lot of you guys are probably staring at your phone screen during the day or a TV or a computer or something and um, it's not always good. So if you're experiencing any sort of headaches, then maybe you guys should check out this brand as well. So the packaging was really nice. Um, basically, you just like slide open the case and there are the glasses and I took them out already. I've actually been using them for this past week just so that I could give you guys my honest thoughts on what I think about them. Um, so anyway, the first pair that I got are these Grand Canyon. They're square, like, um, tortoise color glasses and I've never worn glasses in my life. I probably need them for seeing far, but up close my vision vision is pretty good. Um, so I, when I first tried these sunglasses, I mean these glasses on, I, I don't know. I feel like I looked really weird and like kind of smart, but kind of like, I don't know. Anyway, so this is the first pair that I got and I really like them. They're super comfortable. They're easy to wear. They're actually kind of dirty right now because Chase likes to take them off my face. Uh, he was like, the first time he saw me with glasses on, he was just like, ha, ha, and then just went right for them. But this is the first pair. I kind of, I don't know. I really like these. I think out of the two blue light blocking glasses. I like these ones a, a little bit more. They just kind of seem like more every day. But um, yeah, so here they are. They're the dark tortoise color. And Sojo's has given you guys a 15% a fifteen discount if you want to purchase any of the sunglasses. Um, my code is Amanda15. I'll put all the links uh, and the details for each of the glasses in the description along with the code. So these are the first ones. I'm really into them. I like them. These also have this really nice gold um, metal on the ends of them. It just kind of looks, makes them look a lot fancier, I think. Um, but these ones are super comfortable on my face. So I think that's why, why I like them. I feel like they're a lot easier to wear. Um, the second pair that I got, these ones are called Ashley and they're kind of like cat eye and they're a little bit oversized. Uh, I got them in the color leopard. So this is what these look like. I, when I first put these on, I thought that I looked like Harry Potter. So what do you think? Uh, uh, these ones are a little bit different from the first ones. Here's a closer look. I hope you guys can see this. But these ones actually have the little pads. I don't know if you can tell, but like, you know, those little like pads that go up on your nose. And this first pair, the Grand Canyon, does not have those. It's just like the normal. And uh, 
thing that goes over the bridge so yeah i feel like these just i don't know they're kind of they're really cool they're stylish uh, I really I feel like I could wear these out in public and you know people wouldn't know that they're blue light blocking glasses and I really love the style of them I think it kind of suits me I feel like a bookworm in them when I wear them like a boss bookworm <laughs> um, yeah okay so those were the two blue light blocking glasses so at the end of the day i felt like my eyes were a lot less tired looking and a lot less red because i wasn't straining them as much i also would wear these during the nighttime when i was watching tv before i went to bed and i found that i was it was easier for me to fall asleep after wearing the glasses as opposed to not wearing them. Those are the two blue light blocking glasses and um, they also sent me one pair of just regular sunglasses and the case is super nice. It's like one of those triangle kind. Um, I don't know what material this is, a plasticky some sort, but um, it's definitely got some like thickness to it so I feel like it's it's a hard case so if you were to you know throw these on the ground it would definitely protect them but anyway these ones are called moment and they're just like brown round sunglasses I don't have any sunglasses that are like this they don't have the um the little padding things they're just the regular bridge but I saw them and I really thought that they looked cool and they were something different than I normally would choose to buy. So again, these ones are really, really um, relatively inexpensive as well. These are really, really comfortable. They fit perfectly on my head. Um, they're light, easy to wear. I think they're, I like them. They're kind of like this, you know, round, but like they have that little cat eye kind of thing. So anyway, uh, they're called Moment in Brown. So. Another thing that I wanted to just briefly chat with you guys about is, so if you guys are new here, um, we have a nanny. So she comes over, I work from home, so she comes over during the day to take care of Chase while I'm working. And it's been really great. I We really didn't wanna put him in daycare. Um, I went back to work after three months of being on maternity leave. And you know, he was still laying down, he wasn't sitting up. He was just so small and he was a preemie. So we, I kind of, my husband and I decided that we did not want to go the daycare route when he was such a, when he was so young. So we got our nanny, we love her, she's awesome. Chase loves her, she's been great. But we've just kind of been noticing that he is craving interaction with other children. So whenever we go out to eat or we're just in public and he sees a kid, he will just start like, yelling and squealing and trying to get their attention and he's just so excited and he loved being in the Jimboree class and he loved being in the nursery today with the other little babies so we've been thinking about putting him in daycare and uh one of our friends actually we have a couple people that we know um we checked out this one daycare back maybe in october or something it's literally eight minutes down the street from us and um we thought that they had a really great program they teach them spanish they teach them sign language you know they do play with different materials for the sensory um learning and they sing songs read books all that kind of stuff and we just thought that the daycare was really great so a couple of our friends uh one of them sends their daughter there she's two and she says that she loves it she comes home and she's doing all of these new things that you know she's never seen before just because she's learning so much and she's interacting and then another one of our friends there she's due at the end of february and when she's done with maternity leave they're going to be sending their son to this daycare it's called primrose and so we kind of just are thinking about potentially sending chase there just for the social interaction and you know more learning and stimulation that he's getting from being in our house all the every day you know pretty much aside from when we like take him out when we're both home so 
I need your help. I would love to get your guys' opinion. If you have your child or children in daycare, what was or is your experience? Do you, you like it? I mean, obviously there's some pros and cons, like the getting sick is probably more likely to happen if you're in a daycare atmosphere than if, you got the, if the kids are at home. But that being said, I would love to hear how you guys view daycare. Has it been an easy transition? Uh, when did you start them in daycare? Were they infants or did you wait? So uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. And you know, I really like our nanny situation and we definitely want to have another child. We'd like to do the same thing with that child so having a nanny or have the baby at home until they're sitting up and kind of on the move, that kind of thing. So I would love to hear what you guys think about daycare in general and whether you think that it's a good place, especially like Chase is nine months old. Uh, now he's just a sponge. He's soaking things up left and right. He's always curious. He's on the move. I feel like he's just trying to like explore everything. So this is getting super long-winded, but anyway, I would love to hear what you guys think. And um, I know that there are strong opinions for and against daycare either way. And honestly, I would just like this to be an open forum, no judgment either way. I just wanted to share what we're thinking of doing and kind of just see if anybody else has an opinion on it. So Chase is down for a nap. I'm just gonna pick up the house a little bit and then we're gonna go over to our friend's house. They're doing a crawfish boil for the Super Bowl. So I think I'm gonna close the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that red button and the notification bell. And I make mommy and lifestyle videos usually once a week-ish if it's a good week. So thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.